Good evening. My name is Samuel Gerard. I am with Afforda Built Tiny Homes. Uh, we just launched this business back in December of last year, which was just a month and a half ago. And this is our first home that we're building on trailers. And these, these homes are ideal to put on a lake or to put on some extra property that you can't farm or that you can't that you don't use or whatever. And you can Airbnb them or you can live in them. These homes are designed to live in for a long time if you want to, but yet they're also made that you can travel down the road with them. They're basically an RV, but they're a homemade RV or whatever you want to call that, but they're called a tiny home. And so we equip them with however you want to. We custom make them. However, this one here is the Ben series. It, it ranges from 16 to 24 feet. This particular home here is actually eight and a half by 20 feet. It's on a uh, two, two 7,000 pound axles. It's got 14 ply tires, it's got brakes, it's got lights, it's got everything on it there is. It's built with a two by four stud wall. It's all uh, insulated with a two inch closed cell insulation spray foam. It's got painted lap siding. We got an overhang on it with metal roof. All lap siding, all lap, it's actually LP smart siding. The roof is metal, 29 gauge, 40 year painted metal. So we have some shake siding here, some shake, shake siding there that's painted as well. We've got vinyl windows, we've got sliders, and got the single hung vinyl windows. Here at the front, we're gonna have the mini split, a 9000K BTU mini split that heats and cools the building itself. And here we're gonna have a water heater, gas water heater. We're gonna have our propane tanks here. We're gonna build a little building out here and insulate it so that the water heater does not freeze. And along this side here, we got vents that stick out here from the dryer, from the bathroom vent, and we got the vent for the plumbing there. It's all plumbed with uh, for, Schedule 40 PVC and PEX pipe. And it's been tested and proven. And then we got an outside faucet here if you so choose to use this outside faucet. However, we also have a low spot here where you can drain the water lines if you wanna winterize this thing. And uh, you can either hook up your hose here or here if you want to, whatever you want to do. But if you're going to put a skirting along here, let's say you park this and you put a skirting along here, you want the water line to come up underneath here. And so that's why we hook this up here and we have your sewer. And we're hooked up to 50 amp RV cord right here. We got a 100 amp box in there, 125 amp box, but it's actually hooked up 50 amp service. And so now I want to take you inside and show you what we got going on the inside. We got a craftsman door. Craftsman door here. We got the... the Man, I can't think of those. Corbels, we got corbels under each roof here. We got wood soffit, white beans. It's just beautiful. It's just ideal to be setting on a lake somewhere. But I want you to bring, I want to bring you guys in here. We got an outside light here that I'll show you. It works and we got an inside light here. And so the idea is we're gonna have the mini split sit up here. The mini split's gonna be up against this wall here. Here's your panel box for your electrical. Here's where you can set your couch right here. From here on over, we're gonna have countertop. We're gonna have the kitchen sink here. We're gonna have a two burner cookstop electric stove right here. And this countertop's gonna come over where you can set a bar stool and eat your lunch or eat your meal, or whatever you wanna do. We're gonna have a shelf here with a hood atop of the stove. Top of the shelf's gonna be a microwave. This is a plug for the microwave. Then we got a light here for the kitchen. We're gonna be setting a combo washer and dryer here. And right beside it, we're gonna have a fridge. And we have an ice maker for the fridge. If you want ice in your fridge, We've got a water line hook up there for your fridge to do that. And then we have a 32-inch shower in the bathroom. We've got the toilet's going to be on the left. The shower's going to be on the right. Let's show you the upstairs for a second. Then as you come up here, we have a three-way switch for the upstairs. And we're going to be building a set of steps here. That's going to have storage underneath the steps. There's going to be a set of steps going up here. Either that or then we're going to be building a ladder. I have not decided yet what I want to do. We want to utilize all the space that we can so that people can utilize it for their interests, best of interest. So we've got an upstairs here. You come up here. You can lay your bed up here. Put your bed up here. You can even stack some clothes up here or whatever. You've got two outlets here, receptacles where you can plug your phone in. You've got two lights. You've got a switch here. It's got two windows that you can open up if you want to let the cross breeze come across. You can do that, whatever you want to do. You've got a window over there. So it's just very, very unique little system here, home here. And like I said, this is the Ben series. This is the Ben series from 16 to 24 feet. Then the next set is called the Signature series. It's gonna be 24 to 32 feet. And then we have the third series called Elite series. 
32 to 40 feet. And so please share and like this video and share it because we are going to launch, we launched this business and we are going to be selling these and I'm hoping to, to get a lot of orders. And so if you, if you need anything, look us up at affordabuilt.net, I think it is, affordabuilt.net is our website. And if you look on Facebook, it's Affordabuilt uh, Tiny Homes. You can look us up on, on Facebook as well. And you can look at our website and uh, go from there. And I thank you so much and God bless.